I've been interested in non-Hodgkin lymphoma, which is a cancer of the immune system for a long time. We found in trying to understand risk that uh, patients who smoke, uh, drink alcohol, and are obese appear to have increased risk of some uh, types of lymphoma. In this study, we were interested in asking the question, do, uh, does smoking, uh, using alcohol, or being obese impact your survival, that is, how you do after you're diagnosed. So uh, this study was originally conducted to, uh, as a case control study to understand risk, but since we collected all this extensive data on cases, um, and this was about 1,200 uh, patients with non-Hodgkin lymphoma who were recruited at four centers around the U.S., uh, the state of Iowa, uh, Los Angeles, Seattle, and the Detroit area. Um, because these were conducted in, where there are cancer registries, we're actually able to take the data we collected uh, from our case control study and link it to outcomes so that we could ask the question, did, your, did certain lifestyle factors um, impact your overall survival? So we found that patients uh, with non-Hodgkin lymphoma who reported uh, smoking had worse survival, as did uh, non-Hodgkin lymphoma patients who reported drinking more than 43 grams per week of alcohol. That's about uh, three and a half cans of beer, uh, four and a half glasses of wine, or uh, three shots of um, uh, liquor per week. And finally, we found that um, obese patients who had a body mass index in the, uh, uh, what is called the obese range also had poor survival. W one of the cautions with this um, research is that we were asking people about their lifestyle factors before they were diagnosed. So the study didn't actually answer the question, um, had people quit smoking, uh, stopped drinking, or lost weight, would that have affected their survival? So really the next study to do is to ask those questions, um, not in an uh, observational study, a study where we just observe what people are doing, but actually in a um, clinical trial setting where you uh, actually randomize people and try to intervene and see if that impacts their uh, overall survival. So this is a new study and uh, there's only been a couple studies that have addressed this question. So generally we don't uh, tell patients to change right away uh, because we need to do some more research, particularly in a clinical trial setting. Having said that, um, patients are interested in what they can do uh, in their lifestyle to improve their uh, potential outcomes. And I would say two things. If you're a patient in active therapy, don't make any changes without consulting your oncologist. Uh, if you're uh, outside of your therapy now um, and are a cancer survivor, then I would recommend following the general uh, health guidelines uh, that such organizations as the American Cancer Society put out, which is uh, to prevent cancer, um, don't smoke, uh, maintain a healthy body weight, and if you drink, um, ensure that you drink alcohol at very modest levels. For physicians, I think um, this gives some uh, impetus to counsel your patients, particularly after therapy, that they really should look at um, uh, quitting smoking. Uh, uh, if they use alcohol, make sure it's uh, um, moderate in nature, and uh, maintaining a healthy body weight uh, to improve both their uh, survival from their uh, cancer, but as well as uh, general overall health. So in summer, we found that non-Hodgkin lymphoma patients who uh, smoke cigarettes, were obese or who drank uh, higher levels of alcohol had poor overall survival after we accounted for known clinical variables. This suggests um, that, we, that it will be important to do further research on lifestyle factors and how they impact um, lymphoma survivors.